all those good things that we are told about the BBI, things to do with the Higher Education Loans Board, things to do with the young people enjoying tax holiday, these are things which Parliament can implement through amending the statute laws, and we can do it in less than 30 minutes. The same way when the President Uhuru Kenyatta brought a raft of proposals before the House to cash on Kenyans against the pandemic of COVID-19, and we took a record 30 minutes to approve them. We are ready as members of Parliament to approve all those other good proposals within the budget that the Parliament has, within the salary paid to the current members of Parliament, with no any additional seating allowance, and we will do it in less than 20 minutes. This BBI fails to capture the pertinent problems that Kenyans experience from day to day when they go around doing whatever, they, whatever that they do to be able to put food on the table. And today I want to appoint myself and I'm going to set up a secretariat in Bungoma to oppose this BBI. And I do not expect to have a problem with anybody in this country because Kenya is a democracy. The government is just, should just be used as a conveyor belt to process this document so that Kenyans can make a decision as to whether it's a good document or not a good document. And I am going to lead the no campaign in Bungoma. I am going to ask the people of Bungoma to reject this document in totality. If you look at uh, the wage bill, we have a ballooning wage bill. The government is spending more money paying salaries and operations of the offices as opposed to making more money available to improve the economic well-being of the Kenyan people. So uh, this BBI is going to balloon our wage bill further. There will be no money available for development. And the reason as to why we are expanding the executive is because uh, kwenda kupinga hii mapendekezo ya BBI kwa sababu hii BBI hailengi kuyatatua matatizo ambayo wakulima walikuwa wanapitia eh, bia, bia, ukulima wa miwa ukulima wa mahindi ukulima wa kahawa umesambaratika kwa sababu ya kukosa miundo msingi ambayo itasaidia ukulima huu na vile vile kuna wafanya biashara ambao biashara zao eh, zimeharibika biashara zao zimefungwa zime, zime kuna pesa ya leseni mingi ambayo wanalipa na kuna pia wale wafanyabiashara wakubwa kubwa kama Everedi ambao wamefunga maduka yao humu njini na kwenda kufungua biashara zao katika inji jirani kwa hivyo haya mapendekezo ya BBI yanakosa pia kutathmini matatizo ambayo inakumba hii sekta hawezi kurekebisha machafuko eh, ambayo Kenya inapitia kila wakati baada ya uchaguzi kwa kuongeza vyeo na viti wa Kenya wanapigana kwa sababu ya kukosa formula ambayo itahakikisha eh, kila sehemu ya nchi ya Kenya inapata mgao wao wa maendeleo isipo eh, zingatia kwamba eh, yule ambaye ni rais lazima akuwe kutoka kwa jamii yao na ndio kwa sababu tunasema ya kwamba ndio inji endelee mbele kimaendeleo si lazima kwamba tuongeze wabunge si lazima kwamba tuongeze maseneta lakini nitukue na sheria ambayo itahakikisha hata kama rais ni mluya wa kikuyu watapata maendeleo wajaluo watapata maendeleo wa kalenjini watapata maendeleo wa Kenya wameifika pale wanafikiria kwamba ndio jamii yenu ipate maendeleo lazima rais atoke katika jamii yenu e lazima kwamba rais akuwe ni mtu ambaye unajua Kenyans know that you only benefit when one of your own is a member of the executive or is a member of the national assembly the executive cannot be expanded to accommodate the food two tribes in this country. What we need is a proper formula that will ensure equitable sharing of resources across the 45, uh, 47 counties in Kenya and across each and every region in Kenya, and that will ensure that each and every tribe should be treated as Kenyans, whether you are El Molo who are 50, of the Luya who are 3 million, of the Kikuyus who are 4 million, or the Kalenjin who are 2 million. Anything short of this, it's a fallacy that Kenyans must say no and they must come out strongly to stop. 
We also have those Kenyans who are engaging in a trade. The business people in two aspects. One who sell groceries along the road, they have various problems. A mom and boga who has a stock of 100 shillings is asked to pay for a license of 50 shillings per day or 30 shillings per day. She's left with nothing. They are not protected. The big business people who also contribute to 90% of employment in this country are also shutting down their shops. Everybody, East Africa, closed shop in Nakuru to go to open in Rwanda. So the cost of doing business in this country is very high. Instead of the banks opening up other branches to provide employment, they are closing their branches and going to open in South Sudan. This BBI proposal doesn't solve the problem that is making factories shut down, that is making investors look elsewhere. Kenyans are engaged in different economic activities. If they are not employed, they are doing farming or other agriculture. If they are not agriculturalists, they are business people engaged in trade. And anybody who wants to attempt to solve the problem that Kenyans face or go through every day, you must scan through these subsectors and identify the pitfall and provide a solution for those problems. 60% of the Kenyan people rely on agriculture. The agricultural sector has various problems. The sugarcane farmers, the tea farmers, the coffee farmers, they have various problems which the current proposal in the BBI doesn't seem to provide a solution.